Welcome to RP Hub. In this video, we'll discuss about Blue Prism. So, Blue Prism is a global pioneer in intelligent in price automation, providing how employees work. The Blue Prism helps organizations enhance operational efficiency and agility by making it simple for individuals to automate the task. If we are interested in knowing what Blue Prism is, then we are at the right place. So here we'll discuss in detail what is Blue Prism, the evolutions, how they enter into the RPA space, the journey, features, which all products right now they have, how to get entered into the academy forum, the academy courses, and what will be the licensing cost, and is there any community courses available or not. So please be available from start to end of this tutorial so that you're able to understand what is Blue Prism and why we are using and why this tool is very much famous. At the end, I will show you is this tool is having a free version available for the users who want to use or opt in for the training or learning perspective. As I said, Blue Prism is a software company that develops industry robotics process automation software that enables businesses to automate complicated end-to-end -end procedures. Blue Prism is an RPA tool which holds the capability of virtual workspace powered by software robots. Blue Prism created the virtual workspace platform concept and is working on a robust, highly scalable, secure, and dependable enterprise robotics process automation platform. Blue Prism software complements traditional IT solutions by utilizing agile virtual workflows that adheres to rule-based business processes and interacts with systems similar to user. This helps the enterprises to automate the business operations in an agile and cost-effective manner. This tool is based on Java programming language and offers a visual realizer with drag and drop functionality. Blue Prism RPA software solutions automate processes that human beings would otherwise perform manually, although extensive customization of existing ID systems result in a greater level of automation and significantly less investment and faster development so when we talk about the detail about the blue prism first concept it will comes in mind like intelligent execution technologies when we have organizations can tease the automation engines to run process priorities fade it with pop and then leave it to the run autonomously responding to system business scenarios and preferences changes robots like humans can perform jobs based on SLA, volume and priority, and dynamically alter and change robot allocation without human interventions. This is compatible with variety of platform. It means this tool has built on Microsoft.NET framework. It is technologically adaptable, functioning across several platforms and technologies such as mainframe, Windows app, WPF app, Java, SAP, Exchange, Custom Apps, Citrix, ThickClient, ThinkClient, Web Services, and many more. This is high security, providing high security, which means a software robot securely connects to the applications and manipulates the presentation layer in the same way that a human being would, but in controlled, non-invasive environment assuring that it never damages the program's integrity. This is also available in on-premises or cloud-based. So on-premises or hybrid enterprise deployment with public or private cloud provisionings. This robots are operations and they can perform any operation defined in Blue Prism on any number of robots in virtual box for scalability. Blue Prism is object-oriented, which allows for rapid scalability though the use of reusable components and libraries. 
reporting and analytics. By capturing each step, it is possible to generate high quality data that can be utilized to provide relevant BI and MI reporting and inline process statistics and real time operational insights. Workuse, which means a queue centric approach for dynamically controlling the number of resources or robots operating against a given queue at any given time, allowing for maximum flexibility in adjusting the number of resources assigned to collaboratively work items in the queue based on the business demands. Now, how the architecture looks like this. So if you can see this image, Blue Prism has came up with the tools having excellent automating features in them. When it comes to getting the best out of it, Blue Prism automations, it is necessary to study its architecture. We might have no idea, but it has been equipped with automation feature that were only on imaginations a few years ago. The version of Blue Prism is simply available in two configurations and they are self-hosted and cloud. In self-hosted approach, there remains centralized server architecture and the same has a lot of useful components that can simply be trusted when it comes to the supporting the automations at any enterprise implementations. Cloud technologies, on the other hand, is totally different and all the tasks that are concerned with already defined in the same, the users are not generally allowed to make changes to them on a large scale. So first is Process Studio, which is a major part and very useful. It comes to enabling businesses to come up with the best process, though the building, design, testing, as well as editing of the process and the blue prism can simply be considered. Generally, the process are made to be reused from the concerned objects. First of all, a library of business objects is simply contrasted in this approach. Next is to simply put the actions in a defined sequence and they are then controlled in the hierarchy present in the process layer. In Process Studio, it is possible to put the control loops, business logic, as well as to object calls in a defined sequence and they can be tested simply in a flow that is visible to the user at all time. Second is Object Studio, which is comprised of visual business object. This is the important tool or software elements in a Blue Prism. Basically, it is considered when it comes to designing the Blue Prism objects that can be reused again and again. They are generally considered as the building blocks for some important and complex business processes. The good thing is the only existing approach is considered and all the current applications can be modified to adopt robotics procedures with this approach. Generally, a lot of basic systems, tasks that are related to building the blocks of the process can be accomplished with the object studio. It is often regarded as a design canvas for the same. The presentation layer simply makes it possible to model the applications and verify them, though a number of elements present in the library. Almost all the applications can simply be made to be modeled as well as explored for the purpose of building an array of streams. This is generally made possible though the system elements it then becomes possible for the developers to encapsulate all the direct interactions with the nodes. And this is generally adopted as an important action in the Blue Prism approach. Then release manager. There is another important elements of the Blue Prism architecture whose main purpose is to release, automate and streamline the functions related to the management. The objects are generally need to be packed. The release manager has component that simply let the user copy and move the model which are dependent. This is generally done through repeatable release pattern. Next is control loop. The status of all these resources in the architecture environment is necessary to be monitored and the same is done through control loop in preference in the Blue Prism technology. The users are free to simply make sure of considering the startup of a process 
to a manual approach it can be started and stopped anytime the configurations options this is a complete architecture of blue prism which is very simple enough and we can use it and adopt it according to that how the blue prism evolutions has been happened so in the july 2 26 2001 it means 20 years back this david moss and elsteer badke had started this rp component that is blue prism in uk and the founders and co-founders are jason tengen david moss and elsteer badke and they have introduced the rpa boost automation tool initially they was focused to back office processes now because of ai and ml capability this application become more popular and enterprises are started using into the their automations and coe capabilities where they can achieve extraction of data process automation and many more things together by using this tool this tool is available in two versions as i said on premise and cloud both the versions are available right now so how rpa scope of the blue prisms and or so rpa has provided excellent solutions for organizations to replace repetitive mundane rule based process with software bots blue prism maintains logs for every stage they are providing 24 by 7 virtual employee support no physical robots are required for any of the processes it's time to market within a few weeks mimics human tasks for existing applications which means automating the repetitive tasks which human beings are performing on regular basis so this will help remove the errors as well as save time and cost no changes in all existing infrastructure needed for using this tool it is now helping organizations who are looking to increase the workflow accuracy and efficiency first rpa was widely adopted in the it sector later it was adopted in uh, other sectors like finance accounting and banking domain so these are the features of the blue prisms like this is very much secure and accurate it is robust enough scalable resilient they're providing 24 by 7 workflow support analytics are available data security and extraction features are there providing cloud support and execution intelligence this is much more capable well with ml and ai feature which is helping the organizations to achieve their tasks so when you talk about the products of the blue prism so blue prism is having massive product ranges which is divided into three parts first is discover second design and deliver then it is further divided into the different aspects in the tool mechanism so first is decision here take our automated decision making to the next level with machine learning we can create explainable machine learning based process in hours rather than days automate human like decisions with minimal effort and expertise though the power of machine learning process are simple enough second is process assessment tool once we have identified the process we want to automate and we will need to prepare process definition document that is pdd blue prism capture task will help the, and this will make the life of the person or the solutioning portion to create this pdd document by using capture in a just few clicks next is process intelligence it's an easy faster way to automation process process intelligence provides an end-to-end -end solutions for process and task mining automation and end-to-end -end monitoring it's it's a zero risk to get started as a part of low prism all inclusive licensing model integrating processes and task mining to the entire blue prism state that is intelligent automation platform that is iap capture automation life cycle management alm and since no two customers are the same so blue prisms open architectures allow them to integrate with other processes mining tools as well next is this is for idp this improves the productivity and return house to the business with their ai driven 
intelligent document processing integrated at no extra cost for customers with productions or business critical support this super idp puts the power of optical character recognitions that is ocr machine learning and artificial intelligence we can enable greater operational agility by using this tool blue prism capture which is a part of design process it is a design to capture intelligent automated process the team blue prism capture combines task extractions and computer vision in a single platform to extract all the key components of pdd from process owner demonstrations blue prism cloud blue prism cloud combines our proven intelligent automation technologies digital workers with built in artificial intelligence and seamless integrations capability and access to azure cognitive services to bring a fully managed platform delivered from the microsoft azure cloud life is uncertain and so our automation workloads take advantage of new consumption based pricing options the users when they want to use they have to pay it and this is associated with the temporary that is a bus digital workers reserve the blue prism cloud digital workers bus capacity for those busy times when we need it most instead of buying additional licenses interact which is a part of deliver so blue prism interact is scalable real time human to digital collaboration platform that is designed to address more complex processes that require either manual initiations or cooperation between human and digital workers next is robotic operating model so robotic operating model is having different aspects so we'll discuss here in detail first is vision it creates a vision for our digital work force based on organizational strategy and goals that supports long term intelligent automation process this is having governance and pipeline which is access and select processes to build a sustainable automation pipeline and implement governance for our control and secure digital workforce service model that is support operational processes while defining the management reporting scheduling and referral handling processes for the business as usual technology so it defines a highly scalable technical architecture and our associated growth strategies to generate maximum business benefit organizations defining the organizational design that based supports delivery of rpa capability and aligns with corporate strategy and culture in essential so next is delivery methodology def which defines the optional delivery approach and embed policies for rapid and efficient automation in a structured controlled and repeatable manner next is people which builds team with the appropriate roles and skills to help build and run a successful digital workforce then in deliver we have service assets where blue prisms are providing 24 by 7 service help desk support for the end user whenever we will step at any point of time we can reach out to them they are having good amount of resources where they are supporting for any issues so here they are using desktop automation capabilities so these all are the beginning points for blue prism products how they enter into the rp space so blue prism is invented in 2001 and which allocates every day task for the digital workforce because of ai and ml capabilities this tool has made the life of human being as easy with great accuracy as well as save a lot of amount of time and cost that's the reason this application will enter into the robotic process automations as a low code automation tool or process automation tool so as a rp technologies blue prism uses software robots to implement the logic of business processes each robot emulates single human user accessing applications just as a person would and each one runs in its own windows virtual machines that is idp so let's consider one example here so if we have a uh, manager raises a request for default application access to the team member 
So this request will be assigned to any IT person and that IT person will need a approval request. So the person who has raised the request, this request is again triggered a mail to the uh, their respective manager. And once he will approve that request, this request will be assigned to the support team. The support teams will navigate to search in the user role list and based on the approval cycle and they will provide this access. But in background, there are several other applications are working. Let's say if you are using any ticketing system, might be that ticketing system into Jira, service now or any other wisdom. So these are the tools which is using for the ticketing system. So if this ticketing systems we are raising the request, so this only it is a manual process. And these process can be automated by using robotics process automations. When this will comes in picture, the process of complete durations will be minimized and the activity of human being will be saved. So as a human being, any person can work for eight hours in a day. But robot can work 24 by 7, which will help organizations to achieve as more as tickets what they are getting. And once the resolution will be done, the robot will automatically trigger an updated mail to the managers this request has been approved and completed. So this is a complete process. Rather than doing in the manual process, robots can work on behalf of any human being and he or she will save their time by just assigning their activity into a robot. Now, if we want to learn about Blue Prism, so Blue Prism Academy courses are having well-structured academic plans where we can take a training from them. Certification is also available and post that the learning community are helping within that. So the link we have to use is university.blueprism.com and once we register here, post that, it will navigate into the training and certification sections. From there, we can take a training of certain structure plan and based on the rules, we can adopt it for any certification. Now, if you want to create an account on uh, uh, blueprism.com and download this applications. So here we have certification. These all our certification are part of that. There are several other certifications like Blue Prism developer, then ROM architect, architecture, that is solution architect, business analyst person, then uh, RP manager. So these all certifications are, but if we want to download uh, this Blue Prism applications uh, in free version or trial version, then we have to go to the blueprism.com to create an account, push create an account, and it will trigger a confirmation mail to our email ID post confirming we will get an exe file to download into our Windows system. This will help to create a use cases or scenarios by using Blue Prism. It is very simple enough for the registration and getting trial version for learning point of view. When it comes to licensing cost, so licensing cost of Blue Prism is somewhere around 6 lakhs INR, which is $18,000 per year. So this is a yearly based license can be renewed based on the requirement. But community versions are also there and these community versions are available for one month of time donations where anyone wants, they can opt it. The community versions for practice perspective or to get started. So that's all about Blue Prism. Hope you enjoy this content for such amazing content. Or if you want to learn about technologies, then subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.